Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Brian Boyle from Brian Boyle Music and the Producers Forum, back again with yet another Pro Tools 8 tutorial. In this video, we'll be going over all the edit tools, which includes six things. They are the trim tool, the selector tool, the grabber tool, the scrubber tool, the pencil tool, and finally, the smart tool. Uh, these are what allow you to edit your audio after it's been recorded by doing things like cropping, adding fades, or even drawing out clicks and pops. So enough talk, let's just get started. Alright, so your edit tools are located at the top left hand side of your screen, right next to your zoom controls. You've got your trimmer tool, your selector tool, your grabber tool, your scrubber tool, and the pencil tool. When you click on this top bar here and you highlight all three of those tools, that is your smart tool. Alright, so we're going to start with the trimmer tool here. I'm going to select it, zoom in a little bit. And your trimmer or cropper tool is perfect for grabbing the beginning or the end of a region and trimming it in just like this. Or we can come to the end and trim this in as well. Or expand it back out. Alright, so moving on from the trimmer tool over to the selector tool. I'm going to come up here and select my selector. And basically what the selector does is it just acts kind of like your cursor in Microsoft Word. You can drag it around, you can select things, highlight things, you can highlight off the page or come back. Um, you know, pretty, sta pretty straightforward, just your standard selector. So the next tool on our toolbar up here is the grabber tool. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And the way the grabber tool works is once you've got something selected, uh, you can move it around. You can grab it and move it. Um, you can take it and move it to a different track. Um, you know, you can just move it all around just like that. Um, you can also use the grabber tool with some keyboard modifiers like the Alt key. If you hold down Alt, maybe you want to make a comp track and take this vocal and copy it down here. Uh, you can do that by holding down Alt and dragging it to a new track or even somewhere in the same track. And another useful keyboard modifier when using the grabber tool is the command button. Uh, when you're working in grid mode, like I am here, and you go to move something, it'll constrain it to the grid. But maybe I want to move it just a little bit before. If I zoom in and I hold down command while I move this, I can place it between any two intervals while still working in grid mode. Uh, without having to switch to slip, which can save you some time. Alright, so next up on our list of tools is the scrubber tool. And basically what this does is it allows you to do tape style scrubbing so you can listen very closely through your track. So why don't we go ahead and listen to this audio here and see if we hear any clicks or pops. Hey, this is Brian Boyle and welcome to video number 7. So you can hear that loud click at the end there or that loud pop and uh, obviously we don't want that in our recording so what we're gonna do is learn how to use the pencil tool specifically the freehand and we're gonna zoom in to the sample level take note that if you're zoomed in to the point where you still see solid waveforms you won't be able to use the freehand tool it's not until you, that you get down until the single sample level when you actually see just lines instead of filled audio that you can actually go ahead and use this so this is our click here, or our pop, and I'm, I'm going to try and draw this out, and I'm just going to draw a straight line across here. You can see it took most of the pop out, but it's actually pretty deceiving. So I'm going to I'm going to boost these waveforms a little bit here, and you can still see that the pop is still in the audio. So I'm going to try and draw this out even a little bit better. So let's go ahead and listen to this now. Hey, this is Brian Boyle, and welcome to video number seven. Perfect. So you can hear that the pop is no longer in the audio. We drew it out. So that's how you use the pencil tool's freehand mode to draw out pops or clicks. But you can also use the pencil tool for automation, which is really, really useful. So I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to switch from waveform to volume. Actually, you know what? I'm going to switch from to pan. I'm going to come back over to my pencil tool, and I'm going to select triangle mode. And what this does is this will let you draw in automation based on the interval that you've selected in your grid. So if I come up here to grid and I'm in quarter note, it'll pan at quarter notes. But if I come up here and I select bars, it'll pan at bars. 
Uh, you can also use the other ones, like the random. Uh, let's set it to something smaller, like eighth notes. And this will just make random pans uh, every eighth note. So that's how you use the pencil tool to draw in automation, but there's one tool that's even better than all of these tools that we've discussed so far, and that is the Smart Tool. The Smart Tool, you select it by clicking at the top of the Trimmer Tool, the Selector Tool, and the Grabber Tool, and that'll select all three of them at once, and you'll see them highlighted in blue. I'm going to switch back to Waveform. So let's zoom in a little bit. I'm just going to cut this in half here. So the smart tool selects three of the tools and changes depending on where the cursor is located within the audio region. So for example, at the top of the audio region, I've got the selector. But if I move down to the bottom, it changes to the grabber. And if I go to the edge, it changes to the cropper. So this can save you a lot of time to, and prevent you from having to switch back and forth between the tools every single time you want to do something. If you want to select something, you can just come to the top. If you want to grab it, just come to the bottom, and if you want to trim it, just go to the sides. And there are also some secret tools that become available when you've got the Smart Tool. Um, if you go to the top corners of your audio regions, like I am up here, you can draw in fades. But maybe you don't want to draw in just regular old fades, maybe you want to do a crossfade. So instead of coming to the top, you just go to the bottom, and then you can draw in a crossfade. So that's the smart tool. It uh, you know allows you to use all three of the tools up here, as well as some extra fades that um, you know just make your life a little bit easier and save you a lot of time. So if you found this video helpful, please follow me on Twitter at Brian Boyle Music to stay up to date on all my latest Pro Tools video tutorials. And you can also check out my website, brianboylemusic.wordpress.com, to stay up to date on new production tips and hot new artists to watch out for. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.